Okay, welcome to Tesla Field Physics. What you see here is the moon in the upper left corner of the screen and what you see to the right flashing down there is what I was trying to record on Thursday saying that that's not a star in the conventional sense. I'll zoom in on it real quick right now so you can see what I'm talking about. This thing's kind of behind the trees a little bit. Okay, let me show you what this thing really is. So I ran a test on Thursday because everybody was saying on the internet that they were seeing the planet Saturn and all these other planets mistaken them for a craft. What I want to show you is that object that you see here. This thing looks like a star, just bright white, but this thing is pulsing like crazy. It's like a dimmer switch. It's turning up and down and up and down. I'm going to show you the reason for this because this is how it's able to teleport, jump to counter space, go invisible, and then come back into space into visible light to where you can see it again. And it keeps jumping back and forth. So let me give you a little history on this. Lockheed Martin was working with this guy. His name was Bernard Hayes. Bernard Hayes was trying to come up with this computer program model. They were trying to map out the stars. So they were doing this whole um, constellation project where they were trying to get all the magnitudes and the brightnesses of all these stars. And um, the reason for it is because of all the technology you see now. Um, it's having to do with the Star Wars program, but it's also having to do with the civilian side of all the um, apps and stuff that you see today. Because they knew all this stuff was going to come out. So... Bernard Hayes said this was the most detailed program he'd ever worked on. It had to be so meticulous when they were mapping these stars and figuring out the magnitudes and the brightnesses. This ties in with the whole thing that Bob Lazar was talking about with the um, Galileo project. So Bob Lazar said that when he saw the sport model lift off at Area 51 S4, he said it was producing this bluish... Um, corona discharge so this goes back to the whole thing with the star in the jar and the plasma balls so what Lockheed Martin was doing was this whole program because I believe that they're trying to mask all their technology to look like a star so when you go on your phone tracker app to see um, what planet is where, it's going to tell you all this stuff according to their model. So if they wanted to switch something to make you think it's a planet or a star that is not, they could easily do it just by manipulating their program. So that's what I'm saying. This could be part of the deception. So I'll show you what this thing's doing and what I'm talking about on how it's jumping from space, visible light, to counter space where you can't see any light. It's like a black hole. It's going from a white hole state to a black hole state, passing through... Um, that neutral 
So I don't know if it's just doing wormholes to where it's not going through the event horizon or what, but I'll show you what's going on. There, it just jumped the counter space. Then it came back. So it's moving, but it's also teleporting and jumping around. What I believe is happen happening is the energy is getting so high in that given area that it's just blasting. It's breaking the Schwinger limit at that point, just like the MH370 orbs do. And it go gets pulled into counter space and then it reappears. So that's another thing. When I was videotaping um, with the camcorder, it shows a whole lot different um, light spectrum than it does with the iPhone. The iPhone doesn't pick up any color. This, um, that's the other thing with this deal. It was called um, Project Sapphire. Um, what Bernard Hache was working on. So when you look at these stars and they're just um, turning uh, all these different colors like a Christmas tree, those are the frequencies. So it's doing all these frequencies and getting the energy up so high that it just blasts because you reach a saturation point to where um, it can only handle so much and then it um, dumps in the counter space or ground. See, there it's in counter space. So that's why my phone and all of this equipment, um, it's hard to keep a good focus on this stuff because it's jumping all over. Now it's back in space. So, like I'm saying, what you're looking at isn't what you're really looking at. And if you put these objects behind trees or something that's still, you can see it, um, going all over the place but you got to be standing still yourself in order to see it so if you're moving in a car or walking it's harder to see so that's how these things are working whether it's the plasma craft or the orbs itself They're just working on the same principles. They're creating the gravity well, and then it's being sucked into it just like a drain. Then it's popping back up. So it's kind of surfing. And then getting pulled in. So that's what I want to show you that these things really are. They're part of the deception because they hide all this stuff right in plain sight. So I'm going to try and get these better uh, videos to MP4 and then load it up on my channel so you can see them in the best possible view. But like I said, let's go outside real quick now and look. That's what this thing is doing, if you can see it. Yeah, there's the moon. There's that thing. I'm telling you. Let's try and zoom in. Having a hard time picking it up. It's not a star, I'm telling you. But my iPhone really don't like recording it. So they're just testing their stuff and then they can put it up 
test it out and then bring it down when they're done or let it dissipate I guess if it's a plasma ball so they're hiding all this stuff right in plain sight right in front of you question everything all the time It's just turning up the energy, breaking the swinger limit, jumping into either that neutral position um, or in the counter space. If you're a uh, if you're an actual craft, you probably wouldn't be able to handle the transition completely um, into the black hole. So if you could get to the neutral, then that could be how you're doing your phase transition. See, it's just building up its electrical energy. And it blasts. So that's what's going on. I hope I can uh, explain that good enough so everybody can understand, but it's just no different than uh, hitting a dimmer switch on your light and turning it up and down. It's basically the same effect, except you can, um, you can only put, you can only saturate something so much before it blasts and then it dumps um, just like a capacitor or a lightning bolt. It's always seeking ground um, because lightning is nothing but a dielectric discharge. So that's what's going on. It's discharging in the counter space like right there. It just went invisible. So you're dealing with the light spectrum. So this thing is um, working on a cloaking level too, because we can only see so much of the light spectrum. So that's what's going on. Um, hopefully I explained this good enough. If you haven't seen my other videos, please check them out. Thanks.